Hey guys, I'm Review with Dan. I'm Otaku Kent, and welcome to Random Talks, our podcast like series. I don't really have much to say, so. Yeah, nothing funny today. We're, we're kind of tired. Been a bit of a long week. Which is weird because we only, I only worked four days this week. Well, I've been preparing for moving. Everything. Which, Everything. which reminds me, if you've noticed, things have started dwindling behind us. Uh, I'm preparing for my move. Uh, it's not set in stone yet but i am go ahead and start packing stuff so i don't have to rush to pack everything so if that if you notice all the stuff starting just to disappear behind us that's why yes he took his infinity gauntlet and snapped it all away <laughs> into a storage unit <laughs> all right well, let's get down to business right here digimon let's get down to business to, to defeat, defeat the mons the mons all right, so for those of you who do not know, it's been one week. You looked at me. I can't. I just saw another song on the Digimon movie, but <laughs> but how many years has Digimon been out now? Twenty years. We. It was around the. T it was shortly after Pokemon, the original animated series, came out. Excuse me, just a second. I was getting cold. Uh, <laughs> It was a little after the original Pokemon series came out. Hmm. So, 98, 99. Okay. So, about a good 20 years. Yep. And uh, they're starting out for the new game coming out soon. It's going to be an RPG uh, strategy-based game, which looks really nice. Think of, if you ever really played, think of, like, Fire Emblem. Different squares and all that stuff. You evolve your Digimon. To be stronger, blah blah blah. Uh, they just announced as well after Digimon Try ends, you know, ends fully. They're actually gonna be coming out with a reboot reboot series um, of the original the Digimon, Digimon Adventure Engines. One. Yeah, to which mixed opinions, mostly why, and there's like, okay, I can see why. The old the first series was uh, how do we put it, corny as hell. Well, that was more due to the American censorship. Yeah, very true as well. Also very jokey, which I hope if they do it again, they don't add in all the jokes they added in. Because there were some serious moments on Digimon. Oh, yeah. Like, there was death. There was actually the sense of danger. Mm -hmm. Unlike Pokemon, where danger can happen. But it's always okay. <laughs> yeah, it's always okay at the end of the day. On Digimon, you don't know what's going to happen. Yep, that's right. Uh, but apparently the Digivices are going to be brand new as well. They're not going to be like the, uh, they're not going to be looking like this. Because this is what the Digi Digivices on the series look like. The old ones well, like a brick. sort of. The, uh, um, so in Digimon Adventure, this was actually one of those, like, uh, digital pets. This toy was. Uh, there's a YouTube channel called Billiam. He goes into detail about these. But uh, basically, the Digivice looked like this shape, uh, only it was, instead of orange, this it was uh, silver. And I believe the buttons were still blue. But this was the coordinate uh, tie and his Digimon Agumon, which were my favorites. <sighs> Got some dust in it. Anyways, uh, that's what this is. And, but that's a toy. And it brings me joy to see that I still have it. I used to have one of those a long time ago. We can't. I don't know what happened to them. I also have the Gen Two one. Is the Black Digivice? Oh, nice. I don't know where that one is currently, but but the newer ones that are coming out with for the show are going to look like the third season ones. The ones with the cards? Yeah, not like that exactly, but look alike kind of way. Let's see. I I think I could find it. I, I think they'd just be better off going with this again. It makes more sense. Yeah. But yeah, these were like uh, little digital pets. It has a little pedometer in it. It wasn't very accurate step-wise. But uh, you walk with your Digimon. You encounter an evil Digimon. You beat it. You gain experience. Uh, you eventually are able to digivolve your people, uh, your Digimon up, and so on and so forth. And it was a lot of fun. I quite enjoyed playing with this growing up. My, my late grandfather, he would take me hiking with him in the Tennessee woods uh, in Oak Ridge. And... Uh, I would take this with me and I'd you know, clip it on my belt and I'd walk around and go boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep 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 beep
memories. Memories. But yeah, it still works. The battery's just dead right now. These watch batteries don't last very long in these things because they're constantly draining. But it, I mean, it's still a fun game. Even, uh, I don't know if this one or the it was the other one. Oh, here the, it is. Th these had a. Okay, so they're closer to this one, but they they just took away the antenna for some reason. And turned it sideways. And, and the buttons. Well, I mean, they're the same general shape. Yeah, they just elongate a little bit more. Yeah, they, they more. made it more symmetrical, and it, uh, yeah. And yeah, people say it looks like the, uh, like the third I, season one. I can see that, but it, I'm here. No, bring it back. Let's show them. <clears throat> You might have to change the brightness on your phone. There we go. So yeah, it looks similar to the original. It's just missing the antenna and the buttons, and it's a bit more... Uh, it's got a little bit more length on the vertical side. So yeah. Um, although that makes sense, considering the buttons never really did anything in the show. <laughs> you, you never actually used the Digivice, unless it actually just started... Yeah, hey, did you vote on the third season? They were added more. Well, and no, the second season they did a bit more, a bit more, but not that they, much. They allowed them to enter the digital world, and it also uh, allowed them to select which evolution form they wanted to go with, because they had the eggs and they had armor different oh, evolution yeah. and the regular digivolution. Uh, that's true. But the third one utilized it a little bit more with all the cards, and then the fourth season. That, that was to promote the card game, which did not take off. Yeah. I still have the card game somewhere. Well, really, not Japan still plays the card game a lot. Huh. But uh, the fourth season, Frontier, which is sad because I thought it was a great show, but there were some problems, which I can understand people didn't like it that well. We'll talk about it in another video. Yeah. Uh, they used the Digivice to, for humans to digivolve. Now, around the time the, fourth se uh, the third season was in play, it was quite a bit of ways in. Uh, Fox, on my cable at the time, uh, left uh, basic cable, and you had to have the premium channels. So after that, I no longer got Digimon. So I knew of the later seasons. Uh, I just never got to watch them. Yeah, because after Tamers came out, it was Frontier, mm -hmm. Data Squad. I heard good things about Data Squad. I Data Squad was cool. I didn't have Toon Disney, so I couldn't watch that mm -hmm. either. See, Data Squad didn't actually have children on it like the original ones. They had more of the lines of teenagers slash young adults. Yeah, and the main kid who had an Agumon as well. But not the same Agumon. He did evolve into a Geo Greymon, which was basically a much taller. Eventually became Rise Greymon. Yeah, yeah, skinnier. And the main character, because the way for, he, for people to evolve the Digimon was to collect data from, I guess, or it, basically inside. Yeah. And um, to basically power up the Digivice to evolve the Digimon. Marcus punched people. He was a fighter. And he went up against Digimon about the size of a house and bigger and could literally. Yeah, he literally just went, boom! All of a sudden, <laughs> I was like, I'm not fighting that guy. Uh-uh. <laughs> Forget that. He just punched a rock and broke it. I'm not doing that. He punched, a, he punched a Digimon shield. A Royal Knight Digimon shield. Which was about that thick. Okay. I mean, it was damaged already from attacks from the ultimate Digimon. But his last punch basically broke into pieces. I'm just like, dude, you just broke your shield. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> this human, not a Digimon, this human just punched your shield to dust. You're like, nope, I'm out. before the new king. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Overall, I love Digimon. I like it a little more than Pokemon for my own reasons. I still love Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. He's a bigger Pokemon fan than I am. Obviously. But, uh, I can't wait for what Digimon has in store for the future. And I hope that the new, uh, the new reboot series, uh, adds to better things to it. And I hope when it gets English dubbed, it's not. So, I, I want to go, like, how Tri went. To where everything was treated with a sense of reality with it. Like, situations had to be serious. And there weren't those long moments going, ah! Mm. ah! You mean like nine, 80s and 90s anime? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, they're funny as heck, but they're so awkward to see. Yeah, they don't, those moments don't age well. 
Yeah, but now with the technology we have. Yeah. I, I'm still surprised after about 20 years this thing still works very yeah. well. Yeah. Now, one thing I have a question, and it'll be in front of the video as well, that if you want to answer, go ahead. Do you think Digimon could be made into a live action movie? That's if you decide, write down in the comments what you think. I'll get back to you on that. But for now, we gotta move on with the list. Because we got way off track for a minute. Whose fault is that? Everybody's. But, uh, next on the list Nintendo, no refunds. Okay. So, Nintendo was recently taken to court in Europe about their pre orders not being refundable. And their, uh, their thing was basically. You bought it, it's been pre-downloaded, you already own it. I don't pre-order stuff that much. Yeah, I, if I pre-order something, it's physically. Or if it was a gift. Uh, my younger brother, not this Christmas, the like Christmas prior, uh, he bought me a, a game. Well, get two, no, he bought me two games. He bought me uh, the Mario Brothers that was ported from the Wii U, Wii U games. Mm -hmm. that, that one was ported to the... Uh, Switch. He got me that one, which was a pre-order, and then he also got me a. Uh, can't remember the name of it. It's the little green dude in the PlayStation games where he'd roll things up in a big, big ball. Oh, uh, Takoyaki. Katamari. Or Katamari. Something. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So I, I, he got me those, and uh, so I, I mean, I'm not going to complain. He gave it to me as a gift. I still play it every once in a while. Yeah. I'm not big into the 2D Mario games anymore, mainly because I feel like the physics in them are a bit harder than yeah. they used to be. Though not like Mario Brothers 2, the original. Uh, Mario 3 has always been my favorite. But uh, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo, yeah, I, I kind of agree where you should be able to opt out of a pre-download if you're still 100% unsure. If you're not 100% sure yeah. that you want it. And so if you want to opt out of the pre-download... That way you can get your money back if you decide it on later on. I can see where they're coming from. At the same time, I can see where the other side is. Yeah. There's always two sides to every coin. Yeah. So who knows And just two sides to every Digivice. Stop that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> see. Mickey's Runaway Railway. Oh, so there's all talks of that being used for a virtual queue, just like they did with Rise of the Resistance. I actually think that's a smart idea because when they did it with Rise of the Resistance, you got your spot in line virtually and you came when your number was called. So that way you weren't standing in line for six hours. So you could wander around the park. You can still do other things. Yeah, if some lines were uh, low on some other rides, yay. Yeah. So the rides. As, as to put it, as I heard recently, Disney doesn't like it when you're standing in a queue because they're not making money. That's true. You're not looking around at their stuff to buy, like souvenirs or food and drink. Because mm -hmm. you're stuck in a line. <clears throat> exactly. So, yeah, this fixes that issue. Uh, now, and, six places we can follow that. That's another That's another rant for another day. Uh, but, yes, the uh, I, I feel like that's the best route right now. Now, how are they going to do it with Rise of the Resistance and Runaway Railway? Considering they're both, the, uh, Resistance still has the virtual queue for it. We'll see. Hmm. And if it works, and it works out, maybe they'll do it for all the other rides. Maybe. No, I can't see that changing. I mean, maybe that will eventually become how FastPass works, in a in a sense, where your number is called and you go during that time, but then alter it slightly. But who knows? Yeah. Right now, I still like the current. I mean, yes, the FastPass system just got updated, but I, I kind of like it still. Mm. All right, next on the list, Pokemon movie on Netflix. So. For those of you who have been, I guess, following Facebook and stuff like that, they remade Pokemon the first movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back. In a... <laughs> it looks fine. I don't like the art style. Too much CG. Mm. I'm sorry, Pokemon CG only belongs in the games. <sighs> Depends on how it's used. Maybe they, you know, I, if cleaned it, up the pudginess on them. If it was more, if it was closer to <clears throat> what it was like, and if it was more like Detective Pikachu, maybe. But as it stands now, no, they they should have just gone with the two D style. Mm. But, even uh, if it's even if it's Sun and Moon style. Mm. But uh, yeah, basically it's the same thing, uh, just updated looks. I think they did a few different things with like the battle, like 
like the first battle instead of having like the whole theme song go on while Ash is battling another guy. It's just like, oh wow, you actually see the battle going on. Possibly the theme song going on in the background. Yeah. Um, YouTube looks cool. The Pokemon look good. Yeah, the people. The don't. humans. Mm. Not, not picks are in the early years. Definitely not that. It's still pretty cringy. Yeah, still a little. Mm, maybe if like they fixed up the roundness of the face. Yeah, maybe if they use more like CG from the games for for people, it could work a little better. Yeah, I don't know. We'll uh, see. But I hope I'm watching it. It's coming out on Netflix in February. I don't have to pay for it. I, I'll watch. I'll still watch it. Hmm. All right, next on the list, Steven Universe, Broadway. Okay, so there are rumors that Steven Universe, the movie, will be interpreted into a Broadway musical. That would be interesting. Yes, it would. And I would 100% go, I'd just go to New York just to watch that. Yeah. My question is, because, you know, Jim's getting poofed, their stone look. Mm -hmm. I wonder how that's going to look. I wonder if it's going to be like a flash of light. It'll probably be a gun. poof of smoke. Following by the actors falling into the pit of the stage. Mm. Leaving behind, uh, they did put gemstones on the stage. Mm. That'd be interesting. Because we have seen, like, uh, I want to say that, like, and they do, like, the costumes. Yeah. Because we've seen cosplayers of all the characters already. Yeah. And a lot of them look great. Oh, yeah. A lot of them look creepy. Yeah. But still good. So who knows? Maybe if we ever get the funds, we'll go watch it. And we'll tell you how it was. And most likely we'll say, go watch it. Because why not? Because we like it. Yeah. All right. Next. Stadia losing player base. Well, who could have saw that coming? Put your hands down. Now, I'm just going to be honest. Uh, I just wanted to put, point out that... I just wanted to point out that... Uh, they're losing a player base, and we kind of saw that coming. Uh, whether it's a, in, uh, before it's time, or it's just a really dumb idea. Either way, it was not ready. It was not a ready product. It was a really dumb idea before it's time. If it even has a time. But, yeah, that's all it is for that one. Yeah, people have been making jokes, though. Like Stadia's making fun of Xbox going, Hey, Xbox, do you really need a, do you really need a console that big? I don't know, Stadia. Do you really need a player count that small? <laughs> No, it's uh, I thought it was more like loading times that long. Oh, I oh, don't know, you need to load time that long. Sorry, spending out and getting mad. Lag time, that was it, lag time. Oh, speaking of lag time, I started playing Kingdom Hearts 3 again last night. I finally beat Pirates of the Caribbean and uh, Big Hero 6's World of San Francisco, Tokyo. And as soon as I, I started, as soon as I talked to the game up a little bit, the load time it went like this three hours. Four hours. Five hours. I'm like, it's 1.30. Are we going to play till 6? I'm going to start the application without the update. So I'm waiting like one, I think I went like one hour that on there. And the time went down like two, maybe 90 minutes immediately after that. I'm like, okay, that's better. But I'm like, all right, I'm going to play the game. Screw it. It still wasn't finished when I got done with the game. <laughs> And I played like two hours at least, just because I wanted to play. Your, also, your internet stinks. It wasn't the internet problem. It's more like because everyone complained about loading time for PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch, unfortunately, had the problem too. I haven't had any problems with the Switch. I did when I had when I started playing Spyro. Ah. But you still need to let me borrow. Yeah. Which I'll say, by the way, Spyro is a great game. Get it on any system you got. It's great. Uh, but speaking of Kingdom Hearts... The new download, Remind, came out. We have not seen everything about it just yet. We do know that you can play as other characters or choose to play as either Sora or other characters as well. There's just more things added to it to, I guess, lay some framework. So far, we heard that it's... Meh. Meh. It's also for 30 bucks. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about getting it. I was like, maybe if it's like... 20 bucks for the added content. Other than that, not really. What I want to see is some download content about, like, see if they can do uh, Star Wars or Marvel. Oh, DLC to add worlds. Yeah. 
Because a, there... a lot of people thought that's what the DLC was going to include, but it didn't. Like if they could add worlds or add characters or add places, like Radiant Garden. Radiant Garden is the hub world. Well, not the hub world. It was a world that was so unique in Kingdom Hearts one and two. It wasn't in three. I don't know what to tell you. I honestly wouldn't mind if they added some more of Twilight Town. You played Kingdom Hearts two, haven't you? I haven't played. I've played bits of one. <laughs> Keep in mind, I don't. I don't own a PlayStation anymore since you pretty much have. Uh, 75% bought me out of the old one. Which reminds me, I still gotta pay you part of it again today. But, anyways, in Kingdom Hearts 2, you can go to Twilight Town. There are many places you go to. It was a nice, big world. Like, all the worlds in Kingdom Hearts 2 were big. Not as big as Kingdom Hearts 3, but they were big. Lion King's world had a huge plane you could run across. It was <laughs> awesome. But it feels like that the worlds of Kingdom Hearts 3, it's... They're big in the right places, but small in the wrong places. Not to mention the map size of it is hard when you can have to try to find your way back. It's like, that's where I come from. That's where I, that's the trouble I had with the Tarzan area in number one. Well, once, well, in uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, once you got the bearings of where to go, because it's almost like a circle or big line, you got to have easily. But anyway, what's next? Because we gotta wrap this up. Next? Okay, the next. The end. So we'll meet again. Don't know when. Don't know when. Next Probably time. around this time next next week. Yeah. Uh, we. But uh, that being said, I'm uh, some big changes are happening here at my household uh, within this next week. So we will keep you updated whether we are able to have a random talks next week. So far, yes keep you informed but until next time i'm a talk you can i'm you dan hope you had a blast and don't forget to stay random peace out